obviously you guys want to play in every game. Would you appreciate getting the night off the other night to kind of have a bit of rest there? I see that. Yeah, yes and no. I think uh, as a competitor, you want to play. Um, I try to take a lot of pride in, in uh, the 82 game grind, but, uh, you know, I think uh, waking up today and just physically uh, the way you're feeling, especially, I think, what what it was it, uh, eight games, 14 days, a lot of travel, you know, you know, having a couple of days off the ice, um, not playing Sunday, you know, physically you feel a little better, um, but uh, then trying to get the feel for the game back after a couple of days. So it's uh, it's a balance. So there's, there's definitely good things to it, but uh, I think just from, you know, being a player, you obviously want to be out there competing, but uh, uh, no doubt uh, you take advantage of the opportunity and it made a lot of sense, uh, um, you know, when Kiefer approached me about it. What did you think of the group coming back tired of the order to win that hockey game? Yeah, it was fantastic. I think it speaks uh, uh, a lot to the team and just kind of just keep going, you know, whatever whatever happens, uh, whatever the circumstances are, uh, a lot of belief in the group. I think uh, the, our depth as well. Is shown uh, throughout countless times of the year, and, and just kind of staying with it, regardless of the circumstances or what's what's gone right or gone wrong, game to game or in a game like that. Um, obviously, tough trip. So, um, it was a big two points and and uh, great morale afterwards. I think guys, uh, uh, you know, build some confidence out uh, after that one. John, 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 what happened to your in the playoffs a year ago? Um, with you, do you have a different perspective personally? going into the playoffs after the scare that you had? Uh, yeah, I think just perspective uh, going through something like that. Um, it was just with the game in general, uh, you know, talked a lot about it, obviously, through training camp and early in the year. So very similar to, um, you know, when I talked about it then. And, and um, you know, just getting another opportunity, I think, just feel really fortunate uh, and looking forward to it. Um, it's a special time of year. Nothing better than competing for the Stanley Cup. So, um just excited for the opportunity. I think uh, first and foremost, and, and just not never to take it for granted. And, and uh, you know, you know, unfortunately going through something like that, but it is what it is. And I just accepted it and moved forward. Tried to uh, um, get better from it. Um, and like I said, uh, it just gives you more appreciation um, for, for, for playing the game and, and doing what we do and, and getting that opportunity. John, you, um, you know, personal goals are, are secondary to team goals, but do you have a chance to sit back sometimes on the bench or play most just about what Austin's done this season or a game 81 now? He's two away from 60. Have you had a chance to, to, or do you want to stay in the moment and just sort of experience it as is? Yeah, I, I, I don't talk about it with him too much. I think he wants to just focus on playing and, and, uh, things obviously uh, are going tremendously well for him. He's in, in, in an amazing rhythm and obviously, his game just continues to take off and, and keep going up and up and finding ways to hit new benchmarks and continue to be so effective, not just not just the results, but I think how he's doing it. I think everyone watching just sees the the progression and, and how he's getting those results is, is pretty phenomenal. You know, I think when we talk amongst, amongst ourselves in the group, we're just pretty, uh, you know we have a pretty special uh, player that we're playing with, doing some remarkable things and, and a, uh, a great person with a great demeanor and, and uh you know the leadership side of things have, re have really continued to grow and grow for him, and, and the presence he has, and, and the way he's leading by example for our team and driving the team uh, is phenomenal. So, you know, we uh, shake our heads sometimes on the bench when you see you know some of those go in and how he's doing it, and just uh, you know we know he's pretty good. So um, yeah, it's uh, you know I think fun for the group to see him do what he's been doing and uh, make some history here with some of the, the milestones he's hit. It's, it's very rare to get 60. Santa goes once, Ovechkin once. How much do you want to see it for him? Yeah, I, I think no doubt we want to see it. Um, I, I think we're, you know, he's in the position, I think, because of the way he's approached it first and foremost and the way he continues to work at his game and his consistency and the diligence that he puts in uh, on a daily basis uh, to be at the, be the best of his ability night in, night out, and be as consistent as he has been. And then for the team, it's just playing our team game, uh, not trying to focus on, on those things so much, take care of our business, and we know he's our – Driving force offensively, um, you know, there's no doubt uh, he's going to find ways to create opportunities and uh, the way our team plays, uh, uh, you know, how he's counted on in that area. So uh, we obviously want to see it, but I think we just want to keep going with the same approach and, and uh, you know, let that kind of take care of itself. And, you know, he's, uh, I mean, what's his goals per game? It's pretty, you know, it's pretty, odds are pretty good. So we just want to just keep playing the same way and, and have the same focus. And I know he does too, so. Is there something that's kind of this here? Um, I, I just think uh, you know he just continues to build confidence in all areas and and uh, just feels so good. I think about his instincts and his reads, 
Um, I think everyone's probably seen uh, the continued evolution in, in the physical nature of his game. Uh, even using, uh, you know, using contact uh, without the puck and then his ability to protect it with the puck and his body control is, is really exceptional. Um, and I've always been at marveled, uh, even when his first couple of years in the league, just his ability to, to strip, strip pucks is, is uh, uncanny and, and uh, is a talent that, uh, you know, it's, I don't know, you can really teach it just because the instincts and then obviously his ability to execute, um, execute that and, and obviously turn it into offense so quickly uh, uh, to me is pretty remarkable. So, um, you know, that, that has always been a highlight. And, and, you know, I think with, you know, how he's gotten better physically, skating, all those things, that only highlights that even more without the puck. He's always just kind of reading the play on the right side of it defensively and then his ability to strip guys and, and use his body to take pucks away and, and transition to offense is pretty remarkable. Well, I think there's, you know, having the, the elements of, um, you know, the physical, the physical nature, the size, the strength, uh, I think the speed and the quickness that he has, and then I think it's timing and execution. And uh, just like it is, as it is for him, you know, getting his shot off and using his release and how elite that is, it's the same sort of thing with, you know, stripping a guy and, and knowing, uh, you know, when the puck's going to be exposed, when he's most vulnerable, how to uh, how to disguise it as well, because uh, guys know it's coming and uh, sometimes uh, I try to bait you in and whatnot. So there's there's a lot of different just uh, reads and feel uh, to it uh, with you know some of the physical attributes that you that he matches up so well. John, I think the, one of the themes is for this group has been staying present. I think we heard that through training camp, and it was sort of a, a common theme through it. Sheldon talked. You guys up here talking about it. You know the attention. How how difficult is that? Is is this group better prepared even? You, you said that you're going to stay present in years past or try to like, keep the noise out, but how much better prepared is this group, you think, compared to years past to do that? Yeah, I, I think everyone has experience and learns from, from the past, good or bad. Uh, you have to have to grow from that, uh, whether it's as a, as a hockey player or even as a person. So um, I think we understand the, the microscope and the, and the spotlight. And, you know, at times it's there and it's, it's hard to avoid it. Um, and uh, so just trying to focus on what you can control and uh, what the task is uh, at hand on that daily basis is all that's that's really um, we can worry about what's happened in the past. Uh, you try to learn from and, and going forward, you know, we don't try to predict the future. I think we just try to go out there and give ourselves the best opportunity on a daily basis and have a strong belief in the group. Um, so, you know, whatever it is, we just want to go at it head on. Uh, you know, we're all very driven, very committed. Uh, I think everyone... Um, you know, wants to, to succeed and, and find ways to do that. And we know it's a hard road. So just kind of staying in it and staying focused on what you can control uh, one day at a time. It just, it just kind of help, so helps uh, singular the focus and, and uh, uh, block out some of the noise and the distraction that, uh, that can come at times. Um, but, uh, you know, we know we're in a special market, a special fan base that uh, uh, is going to add, add a lot of fuel for us and, and push us along. So that's uh, the special part about being here. John, what can you say about the way that Stammer has come back from some pretty severe injuries, some pretty bizarre injuries, and to see him playing at the level back that he is right now and, and what he's overcome just his past. Yeah, obviously uh, this past week and last summer games on, on been quite a tear. And uh, all season he's been really good, obviously. Uh, his production is... Uh, you know, right, right at the top of the uh, prime of his career. And, uh, you know, I think that's some of the things that I've talked about in the past, so just uh, the ups and downs of a career. You know, some years are better than others. It'd be great to have a career year every year. But uh, when you have a guy that's driven like him and, and uh, as talented as him, and uh, I think certainly, you know, having the success their team has had over the last number of seasons has probably built a, a lot of confidence and belief. And, and uh, he's been through a lot physically. Um, and I think, you know, a lot's been talked about earlier in his career when, you know, he made some tremendous strides and was showing that when he scored 60 and, and had some, you know, great years challenging for the Rocket and, and his commitment to off the ice. Uh, and I'm sure that hasn't changed. So especially when we've had some of the injuries he's had. So he's having a great year.